Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Vulcanoids, where in the previous episode we destroyed another drill ship, this time a, a proper tier 2 fancy one, uh, to get some more cool loot. And today we're going to go venturing uh, off in a different direction just for, you know, a change of scenery if nothing else, though I realise we have literally zero space in the drill right now. Hold on. Let's see if we can do something about that. Can I pick up any of this stuff? Okay, I can pick up quite a, a few bits of it. We now have six slots. It's still not fantastic. Do we have... I've got a bit of room here. I can dump some little bits in just to try and make more room. It's a bit of a mess. There we go. we got ten slots to work with. Much better. Uh, but yes, last episode we got a whole bunch of loot. And today we're going to try and process it, but I wanted to just move around a bit. Let's check the map, actually. I want to just move somewhere else because there's different parts of the, uh, of the island we want to explore. Obviously some points we can't get to yet, we've got to upgrade the drill ship in order to do that, but we can still try and explore, like, a little bit more over to the, uh... ...to, like, the east, and see if there's anything more out there. Because we haven't been over there yet, so at least on this level. I think we've been right to the edge on the lower level, admittedly. Oh, but here's some, uh, some drill ship gubbins. There we go, so we need the tier 2 drill to get through certain sections, and it marks it off... Uh, ...with that indicator. Uh. There we go, we're fine. There's actually quite a lot of tunnels to the lower levels around here. Oh, easy. Went a bit of a weird route for that, but sure. Just wander over this way and see what we're looking at. Lots of lava paths to get over. But yeah, I think this marks the, the edge of this particular region, and then there's some very, very hot lava in between here in the next region, but then there's a couple of little paths that we can follow. Let's hop in a tunnel and just see. Yes, we've been down here before and there is cool stuff down here. So, we can hop around and grab some of that. Even though we're already having serious storage issues. Oh, we took some damage there. We were in the lava slightly too long. Yeah, I can't resist some more, some more science stuff. It's all useful seeing as you can turn it into higher level research later. Oh, we can go quite a bit further this way. Hold on, let me check the surface. Uh, oh no, the tunnel's one map again. No, that's like the edge there. Interesting, yeah, so that's like the edge here, but then in tunnels two it goes way further, all the way down to here, but this is the... Um, this is the little side volcano, I forget what you call them, the little extra volcano section off to the side. This is actually, we're under the sea right now, I think, because it's the little bit that sticks out and has its own volcano on it, and that's why the, the laser drill ship is there, and then this is the actual bit of cave underneath the the surface of the the island that makes sense oh and there is uh the tier two drill ship over there that we can loot yeah so there's only one that we found on this level how about on this level um we haven't found any on this level so yeah that's a particular valuable thing then so we can wander down there where are we now we're there okay we can get right into there that's not too difficult okay let's uh hop up here And then we just trundle around this way. I'm going to ignore the copper because we already have so much of it. I keep picking up scrap that we probably have more than enough to use for that purpose. There we go. We've got a tier 2 production module, some iron scrap, and also modified track parts. Not that we need those because we already, I think, have, uh, like, one of those anyway. Um, we could try and get into Devil's Roar and attack this dude, but I don't think we want to be doing that. We want to leave now. Now I want to get to the surface, which might be actually a bit of a challenge. Oh, where are you going? Don't, don't do that again. Go up here. That seems safer. We've got to get back to the mainland so we can, uh, we can surface. There we go. And somewhere around here should be the tunnel. There it is. To the tunnel, please. Oh, where are you going? Oh, that makes sense, actually. Oh. Risky, but it worked. Okay, yeah, let's find somewhere right over this end if we can. I think I need to check the map though. Uh, okay, maybe if we try going north we'll find a, a surface point that's close to the barrier. Or we'll just find a whole bunch of lava. Oh, there's... Ah, oh, so close yet so far. That would probably kill us because we go through... Oh yeah, that's impassable there. This though, passable, but it would probably destroy the, the drill ship to do that. Yeah, I think that's the next region, and we have to get that with the better, get to there with the better drill. I don't think we can do that with uh, with our current temperature resistance abilities. They are quite limited. 
we'd probably explode. I don't just want to go back to that same spot. We've already been there, I'm pretty sure. Craftsman site. High ground. Let's go visit high ground. Let's see what that's like. Presumably quite high up. <laughs> there we go. We're surfacing. I can just hop out. Ooh, ladder was messing with me. I can check the contents of this. Try and, like, collapse them into my inventory again. Oh, here we are. No cogs to be seen. Things are still a bit, uh, a bit ash-covered. Yeah, quite an, an empty open place here. Seems quite nice. Gonna hop outside. Uh, oh, never mind. There's, there's cogs straight away. I don't have any ammo. I can't shoot this guy. I'm gonna see if I can pickaxe him in the face. Oh, hello. Okay, melee's quite effective, apparently. Ah! Nice. Yep, you could just run up to them and smash him in the face. That's good to know. Should've done that before. Okay, we're gonna maybe need another turret on this side of the drill ship, considering that they attacked us instantly upon arrival. Do we have spare turrets? No, I haven't made any. However, we have a bunch of spare uh, room right now, apparently. How did that happen? Okay, um... There they are, turret module. I'm just gonna make, like, three more of them. We, we want four, really, though I don't know if we quite have the space for that right now. I'll just take the one. Oh, never mind. Put that back in there. There we go. Uh, and yeah, let's put this on like this back corner. Maybe on the inside? No, the, on the corner. I think it makes more sense. Uh, and we'll leave the rest for now. Do need to fix this up. Uh, oh, I don't have a repair kit on me, apparently. No, I do have a repair kit. Why isn't it allowing me to repair? Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. That repaired it, though, apparently. That totally worked. Okay, fine. Uh, wait, no. There we go. Take that back. Have the coal. I don't need that. Let's try and put everything in here, if we can. Uh, close. But not quite there. Okay. Uh, I'll take back out the breach replacements. Uh, ammo, medicine. Because none of that needs to be stored in there. Does that give me enough room? Almost. So close. Just last little couple things. Oh, and that should be in there too. Oh, there's already five track parts in there. I'm pretty sure we only need one of these ever. I think the rest are completely irrelevant. Oh dear. Oh, we're, we're processing the scrap, so that's still going. Where is the scrap station? There we go. We hit it in the corner there. Good place for it. Uh, I will just, like, loop smelting. Oh, energy's low. Ah, oh, the extra turret must have pushed us over the edge. Yeah, apparently so. Interesting. So we'll need more power generation. We've got two right now. I can build another one. Coal power plant tier one. And... You know what? I'm going to make a new storage, because it's a pain having such limited storage space. Let's just do that. Um, however, it can't dump them to actually give them to me. There we go. I guess I have this chest now. Maybe I can build it somewhere. We'll plunk that at the back and we can fill it with copper or something. Uh, okay, we're going to put this all on the roof. So, coal power plant, storage, and that'll be in the network and should sort things out. And something's been destroyed. Let's go loot. Was it you? Did you do something? Um, I don't see anyone. Maybe they attacked this side then. Uh, no signs of dead cogs. Don't know where this happened. Or was it actually just that one out there that I saw and I assumed was one I previously killed? It was that one. Derp. Right, now we can dump everything we like in here. We've solved our problem for a little bit. We do need to make some more grenades. Uh, where is it? Tool, there we go. I'm going to make a bunch of copper stuff because I imagine we need it at this stage. Yep, definitely. We'll try and get everything back up to 20 if we can.
Okay, this is actively being used as it's being made. Oh, no, still not 20. Still no. They're all being turned into grenades immediately. There we go. That means this is done. We can use this to make... 10 more bolts. And I'll go grab the ammo. Oh, more attacks, but they're being dealt with well. Happy about this. Um, I'll leave the grenades out. Let's uh, let's take the copper back back out of these. Oh wait, no. I keep holding shift to grab when you actually just want to click. How much copper do we have in here? There's 140. We don't need to put more copper in, so I will go put this in here for now. We can reintegrate it when needed. I mean, there's now more space, but we don't want to immediately fill it with junk again. Because there's going to be more loot to be found. Uh, yeah, we'll take that back at least, and we'll trash that, like, four stacks that was good. Um, it definitely seems like the, the revolver is uh, a key thing for range in the early game, so you do still have reason to use it. I think I'm going to stick with the shotgun just because I can run at them and shoot them directly in the face, and that does generally work. But it's good to know that the revolver is useful if I want to do some long-range combat. Okay, uh, we need some more ammo. Just three stacks of it should do. Though we should probably have, like, extra ready to go. Thinking about it. Yeah, so if we grab all that, and then this can become storage for that as well. That's nice. We'll put the breach replacements in. Oh, no, we'll put the breach replacements in here and take out the junk that I've left in here. That's the system. I like that. So repair and healing stuff, combat stuff. Makes sense. Put that back in there. That's all good now. Okay, now have we made the 12 uh, scrap stations? We have. Now let's make the research stations. Let's actually get those going. Oh, there they go again. Uh, there's actually already a few in there. So we just need to make four more. Uh, anything else we want to quickly put together? I think we're mostly good now. We might need more uh, ammo for the turrets soonish, but I don't think we need it right now. Do also want a couple of refinery stations, so we'll queue some of those up. It's going to slow everything down, but when we have it all, we'll have it all. Right, where's the dead bodies? More loot. Always good. If I can find it. I think the first one that died earlier will be gone by now, but the other one should be here. Now there's another attack happening. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the to the body of the one. Oh, there it is. Oh, nice. A couple of different things in that one. And then... A bit more stuff here. Old tier 1 stuff for now. We do need to go and assault some tier 2s, I think, if we want to get any fancier stuff like hydraulics and gubbins like that. Nope, we'll just trash the ammo. Not going to bother. We've got enough to hand. Um, okay. This is working away, it's getting there. I think there's two remaining. Yep, yeah, it's almost done. Um, in the meantime, we'll gather the scrap stuff and start working on that. Twelve scrap stations. And all of you are going to go in here. Lining the entire wall. We'll get six for now and see what we can do with them. Okay, so the purpose of these is to just turn anything that I don't want to have um, in my storage space into uh, into usable materials. So the key thing is straight up scrap metal, which I... There it is. Okay. Scrap metal forever. Always turn that into, uh, into copper. Anything in the sulfur area we want. I don't think so. Uh, we could turn a bunch of random structures and things into scrap, because I don't think I'm going to be ever making most of these. It does mean, though, that if I ever want to make them, I won't be able to, because they'll instantly be turned into scrap after being produced, I presume. So i got to pick and choose. Um, there's not actually that much other stuff yet, looking at it. I was expecting more things, hence why I made 12 of the, the machines, but maybe I only need 6 and I won't even use them all. Like, what I could do is set it for all of these buildings, or, or whatever you call them, like consoles, because I don't think I'm going to use them again. But I might, actually. I might just leave this for now. 
Uh, actually, we, we're only ever going to need one of those, so we'll put that on. And what you do is you switch them all to infinite, so they will always turn that stuff into junk. Or not junk, into copper. Yeah, we'll do a couple of these. The save and load things, I never use those anyway. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave the up and down things, because we might want some more of those. We'll do the, the status monitors, because we already have two of those built. Um, probably periscopes as well. Yeah, periscopes. There we go. So that's six. I'm going to leave the rest of the scrap stations for now, as it turns out. I don't want to use the, the rest right away, though I have managed to find uses for all the ones I've made so far. Uh, research stations, refinery stations. So, oop, yeah, going back down again. Okay, refinery stations we'll put on this side. The rotation is a problem. Oh, there we go. Q to rotate. Doop, 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 doop. No, oh, no. Why did you spin on me? Didn't want that. There we go. Right, these ones I know exactly what they're doing. You are going to endlessly make intel from production tier one. You're forever going to make it from smelting tier one and you from research tier one. Then you are going to forever make intel one from the heads. You're going to make refinery one from the heads. And you are going to make... Uh, research one from the head. So now all of that stuff, the moment it's put in my storage, will get processed by these. You can see a couple of them are going. Not many. Uh, actually, oh no, all of them. All of them but one are going. Yeah, that's a lot. And what I can then do is put a second layer in, though that's not ready yet, and uh, do all of the tier 2 stuff. And I'm not going to process the shredders and boilers and stuff because they have uses outside of... Uh, of just turning into research. But all of the research modules and the heads are only used for that, so we might as well. Uh, and then in the middle here, I'm going to stick a couple of refinery stations. Is that symmetrical? I think it is, as far as I can tell. And you are going to forever smelt copper, and you are going to forever smelt sulfur. Now we don't have to worry about uh, the ores ever again. The ores will immediately be turned into useful materials. So that's what this floor is for. We're just going to keep spamming it with more and more uh, layers of... of uh, of stations doing more and more jobs as the game goes on. It's just going to become, like, it's literally going to become a solid block of them later down the line. We're going to need three layers at least of, of research stations to do all the different processing, if not a couple more on top of that. So yeah, this station now no longer needs to, to worry itself with any recipes like this. Its only purpose now is to do these things, and it can indeed do one of them right now. So let's do basic production. And it is going to take forever. That is a problem with this current system. Uh, we do definitely need to implement a, uh, a another like a research level two module, but also we can't do that yet. So we're we're just gonna have to wait. We can't yet process um, scrap iron into usable iron stuff, which is a key component of, of being able to make a lot of the tier two things. So we we can't build that yet unless we can loot exactly the right materials. So that might be our mission next episode to go seek out more tier two modules or tier 2 drill ships to uh, loot various tier 2 techs from them, uh, but for now this is all we can do. So, uh, yeah, we could build an extra tier 2 thing, but we're actually really short on sulfur right now, I believe. We've got, like, none left. Oh, we have literally none left. There is no sulfur now. Um, it's presumably holding a production or something then, or we've just got it exactly right. I don't even know. Um, let's go... Oh, hello. We got some damage. Let's go find some sulfur before the end of the episode. I will just do a quick once over of damage because clearly I need to uh, keep an eye on that. Oh, yeah, a little bit there. It's a point as well, actually, when we went into that lava underground, we took a bit of damage. I don't think I ever repaired that, but presumably I have now. Okay, where are we going to find some sulfur? Oh, hello. Yoink. Annoyingly, you can't break down revolver ammo. Into, uh, into copper, hence why I'm scrapping it. Right, there's a lava pit over there that should be surrounded by sulfur. It's a bit of a trek, but we should be fine. Let's say hi. Oh, they've said hi first. Hi behind the tree. Can't see me. There we go, now you're close enough for the shotgun to take you out. Oh, he took a couple of shots. More heads. Always good. Oh, hello. There we go. 
We don't need more copper right now, just sulfur. So let's just go nuts with that. Also, I should reload. Right. We'll just go around the whole thing and loot all of it. We've got three minutes remaining, so basically once we've done this, we'll get back to, uh, to the ship and be done for today. It is interesting having this kind of time pressure of, of uh, never being able to just like go on some giant trek to gather a bunch of stuff. You've got to like do lots of little missions. I mean, 24 minutes is a, a pretty good amount of time, really. You can fully edit how long the uh, the volcano cycle is, though. So you can give yourself some interesting challenges, like five minutes on the surface and you've got to go down again. Or you can make it so there's like an hour between eruptions. Hell, you could turn eruptions off, but then uh, that would cause you some problems in, in terms of the fact that uh, stuff only regenerates after eruptions. So if you had it never go off, you, would, uh, you wouldn't be able to get a bunch of stuff after a while. You'd just run out of materials. But you could just scour the island for, uh, for stuff every time and then have, a, have it go off every like two hours just to replenish everything at once. Also, I want to wander down here because there's going to be some stuff to harvest. we got two minutes, which is a little bit of time. I think I see the nearest bit here. So we'll just run in and grab this. Refinery module. Good. We haven't found a couple of those in a while. Hello. Oh, I'm taking some hits here. This is bad news. Oh, I went down. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh dear. Let's try reloading an autosave. Where are we then? It looks like it's going to be an extra long episode, presumably. Depends when the autosave actually happened, of course. Oh, hello! Yep, they see me. I was wondering if they just didn't see me for a second there. They weren't moving. Alright, we're doing this again. Let's see if we can be even quicker this time. That's our mission. Alright, we need to do some healing this time. We're a little bit more hurt than before because I was a bit more gung-ho with my dealing with robots. Alright. So we'll grab the sulfur and we'll run straight for the, the town, which does mean we'll have more time to uh, engage those particular cogs and, uh, and be a bit more careful about things before the volcano goes off. So it, it works out. You can set the autosave interval as well, so actually I might set it to like two minutes so that I can, uh... I'm never thrown too far back when I die. Okay, town somewhere over this way, I think. It's all the sulfur. We'll try a different angle of attack, they'll never know what hit them. Oh, it looks like a drill ship area here. I think there might be more drill ship areas than are shown on the map, I'm not sure though. There's the town. Okay, I see someone straight away. Yeah, there's a few of them crawling all over the place. Let's actually use a bit of cover this time. And engage them one at once. I'm not going to be able to get them at all. I've just got to run away. No, I can't run away. Alright, someone's found me anyway. Close enough to just deal with. Now at least. Oh. You're a tough one. Okay, that might be everything. I'm gonna go for looting. A loot all button would be nice. Just to speed up that particular part of the game. I'm also gonna grab some coal because I feel like we need it. We always need coal. Uh, right, one of them's up there. And then there's one more somewhere over here. There it is. We've still got just over a minute to go. There was a bit more coal I saw around, but I left it because there were cogs to kill. There it is. We'll nab that. Oh, just the one. I hear the alarm going off. There would have really long distance for some reason. I thought that I thought it was just a global alarm that went off, but maybe it comes from the drill ship? Yeah, I guess it does. I felt that might have changed. I don't know, though. Let's go. I 
Any drill ships on the... Oh, not drill ships. Any cogs on the ground I can loot? I don't think so. Oh, we're, we're actually quite short on time. I've left it a little bit last second. Boom. There we go. We're all good. I had to before the, the 30 second mark, which is... Generally means we're okay. Okay, dump what I can, but of course all the... the sections of the storage have disconnected from each other because we're underground. There we go. No, I should, I should keep hold of that. Oh, I should keep hold of that as well, actually. Yep, there we go. Good bit of loot. I also was spotting there was some, uh, some research gubbins. There we go. We're close to it this time. Shame there's trees in the way. <laughs> kind of ruins the visual. There we go. And the island is engulfed once more. But I'm already seeing the research gubbins building up just from our research things working away. Even though it takes forever to do the job because they're doing a million different jobs at once, they're all like the, it means that the, the module is always running. So once it's worked through its backlog, it's going to work a lot better for us. Right now it's struggling, but um, that's just because I haven't been researching everything as it's been coming. So soon enough it'll be in, in a much better state, and it'll just be every time we turn up, the, the few things that we've gathered will then be processed, and it'll it'll all be good. But uh, that's uh, that's for next episode. So yeah, we've got our little processing platform set up now. We've got things going here. Smelting, scrapping, and researching, and we'll add more to it later as time goes on. And uh, and yeah, we've uh, we've been working away at this. We haven't finished it, but of course that's because it's doing a million jobs right now. But we will, next episode, probably get through that, and then maybe start working on the next one. We might have enough to do that now. Well, now we can't tell because it's not connected to the system, so we can't tell us what we do and don't have. But presumably we've gathered enough stuff to be able to do the other Tier 2 research. Once we have all three, we might be able to use one to, like, bootstrap the next and basically, like, step-by-step -step work through it. Like, I think some of them might not require Tier 2 tech so that you can make... You can work your way up, like, get the ability to recycle iron scrap and then you can use that iron to make the other modules or something like that. I don't know how it works. We'll find out soon enough, of course. Uh, but... That's all we have time for today, so I should say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.